Hello YouTube friends, this is Clayton Phillips here. It's 2020 in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. Yes, look around. There is snow everywhere, snow piles. We've been crushed uh, with snow falling and you know what? Hey, it's January and that's what happens this time of year in Canada and we are excited. Why? Because camping season is coming. RV show season is upon us and we are getting new arrivals, fresh factory built Grand Design trailers daily. I just checked in seven myself today and uh, we're loading up the inventory here for all of our customers because we're, uh, we're expecting big things uh, this year and uh, we're here to support RV owners and people looking at getting into the lifestyle. So this particular uh, video I am shooting on the all new 240 RL Reflection 150 series. This is a brand new floor plan in the Reflection fifth wheel, the half ton towable uh, lineup for Grand Design. And I just shot some pictures for our website on this particular model, folks. And I am fired up with all of the things that this particular model offers um, in terms of storage and just the floor plan and the fit and feature and content and all of those things. And again, Grand Design is just uh, hitting the ball out of the park uh, with this particular layout. This particular uh, floor plan, folks, is 29 feet, 11 inches in length. So um, if you're looking for that true half ton towable, concerned about weight, not necessarily believing that all, all you know, some of the fifth wheels are half ton towable out there, I will preface this, folks. If you have a half ton truck, it doesn't mean exactly that you could pull this trailer. And what I mean by that is not all half ton towable or half ton trucks can pull a fifth wheel like this. You have to know your specs. You have to know your payload capacity, uh, all of those things, folks. And because not all fifth wheels um, or, you know, fifth wheels like this can be pulled by half ton trucks. But hey, you may have a half ton that could get it done. So Grand Design on the 150 series, folks, they've really engineered this product to keep the hitch weight lighter. On half ton towable uh, fifth wheels, folks, payload is everything. And payload, if you're wondering, is the weight that goes in the box of the truck. And that attributes to the hitch weight of the trailer. And we'll talk about some of the things that Grand Design has done uh, to help lighten the hitch weight. The hitch weight on this particular fifth wheel, folks, is 1,222 pounds. Okay, a lot of the newer style half tons today that are being produced have well over a 2,000 pound uh, payload capacity that could very easily pull this. So talk to your vehicle dealer, whether it's GM, Ford, Dodge, whoever you prefer, and just really be aware uh, and check the stamped weights on those, um, on those vehicles. Typically on the door pillar of the vehicle, there'll be a little white sticker that has yellow and red and black writing on it that'll tell you the combined weight of all occupants and cargo cannot exceed uh, whatever weight that is. And so you want to take into account the hitch weight, how much cargo you're putting in, uh, those sorts of things, you know, people in the vehicle as well. So uh, back on this particular product, folks, I'm going to jump into it. Grand Design has done a complete remodel on the 150 series. Uh, it's got a new exterior, new interior, lighter interior. They've added some really cool features. One thing that the 150 series never used to have was auto leveling. It just used to have scissor jacks with the front electric landing gear. Now you get four point auto level uh, with all of the 150 series, uh, which is really, really cool. And uh, I know I'm talking a lot and throwing a lot at you here. Again, I may be a bit rusty on the video, so I may ramble a little bit and I apologize for that. Um, but uh, again, we're gonna jump into it. Um, we're gonna, again, walk right back up front. I guess I could have been there, but hey, we're starting fresh video. Uh, turning point hitch. So a lot of the half ton trucks in the industry, folks, um, you know, five and a half foot box, okay? Um, depending on the kingpin, this is called the kingpin that is on the fifth wheels that you're looking at, um, kid, you know, if you don't have a slider style hitch or what have you, um, what will happen is if you jackknife too much, there is a chance you may take out the back window on your truck. Okay, and what the turning point hitch does is it allows you to shift the turn from here, which is where you typically pivot uh, when you hook up to your truck. It shifts it 22 inches back. And there's a way to do that, but what that does is it gives you 22 inches more of turning radius to be able to accommodate trucks with a five and a half foot box. If you didn't have a turning point hitch, a regular kingpin, you'd have to go to like a power glide hitch and they're extremely heavy and very expensive. And so Grand Design, they're saving you a bunch of money and weight 
uh, by going to the turning point hitch and we can activate that right here at the dealership which makes it really really nice a couple things with grand design folks they've upgraded the front cap as well on the 150 series they've gone to the paint uh, black paint just to give it a little more detail they never used to have that they left that for the regular reflection uh, so it's got the same front end as a full-blown reflection does and so it's just really jazzed up the front end again always fully painted front caps less chance of you know discoloration and cloudiness and those sorts of things coming down the front cap uh, it's a very much an aerodynamic front cap so less wind drag is going to cut through the wind a little bit better which is nice all of the graphics that grand design uses folks are a 3m graphic better quality higher uv protection five-year warranty so they're really stepping up not all graphics are the same in the rv industry here folks so you don't want to invest in a trailer that two years down the road your gra your graphics are starting to crack or discolor or roll up and those sorts of things okay i uh, will shoot here on the uh, pass-through storage uh, thicker baggage doors of course they've gone to the slam latch door on the 150 series they used to have a thinner door with the cam lock style uh, twist lock now they've gone to the slam latch of course magnets holding it up shoot in on this pass-through storage compartment folks again true to form for grand design folks on the 150 series they did not deviate from their construction and how they build their products and the warranties that you get okay they didn't deviate from that a lot of manufacturers to get the weight down on trailers they will sacrifice build and structure to get the weight down grand design does not Okay, they're, they're, it's more in the engineering and taking away a wardrobe slide to help keep that, that hitch weight down as well as various other things. But again, look, all aluminum uh, framed construction, fully bead welded, heated pass-through compartment. You've got the battery disconnect switch right up over there, uh, true to form for Grand Design. You've got the remote for your auto leveling system with the re auto return feature. So it memorizes the last spot you unhooked from, makes hooking up again really, really easy. You get the Nautilus P1 utility panel which operates the water with inside the trailer you bypass your hot water heater through this system as well it's all color coded you can fill up your fresh water tank out of a bucket of water using your your water pump there's also a water pump switch here so if you're pulling into a a, a dump station and it's not at the campsite you don't have to go inside your trailer to turn on your water pump to clean up rinse out your sewer hose you can do it right from the convenience of your utility center here your gate valves are all up inside the nice heated and protected area and you got the black tank flush so again true to form for grand design using that nautilus p1 cadillac cadillac system here uh, to operate the water and utilities on the outside of the trailer okay uh, the other thing you get with Grand Design, oversized uh, capacities in terms of your fresh water uh, capacities, your gray, your black. This particular model, you've got 52 gallons of fresh water capacity, 71 gray. That's two gray tanks combined to equal 71 and then 39 gallons of black. So if you're doing a lot of, you know, bush camping, you're a fisherman, you want to tow a boat behind with this model, which some people will, or pull a quad or something, and you want to head out in the West Country, you can definitely, you know, utilize those tanks and stay out there a little bit longer. Um, your hot water heater is gas and electric, 17.8 gallon quick recovery per hour. Uh, which is good so if there's two people inside the trailer camping having fun one person can hop in have a quick shower the next person come can hop in right after and you get that hot water you're not having to wait for it to heat up again and again 35,000 BTU furnace okay that furnace will heat up this trailer like nobody's business okay uh, I'll shoot up here underneath the trailer you'll see it may be a bit dirty folks so you're seeing this trailer it just arrived today we have not cleaned it we have not put it through our shop. You are seeing it as it's been through a 2,000 mile trip in the winter time coming up to the dealership here. And I think this is just a true testament to Grand Design. But you'll see fully enclosed and heated underbelly. It's all insulated under there, ducted forced air heat. They've added 12 volt heat blankets to all the tanks this year as well, folks. That's a new upgrade uh, for the true 2020. Okay, you'll see the drain, drain pipe here. They've added a nice little LED light that you can turn on and off if you've got a drain at night. Just helps illuminate the you know the, the this side of the trailer which makes it real nice but you can see where they spray foam in around all the openings to help seal in the outside keep the heat in the critters out uh, those sorts of things r33 your floor in the reflection fo uh, folks you've got an r9 in your sidewall um, r40 down your roof and down your front cap so for a trailer that you know half ton towable um, in the mid profile series definitely industry leading when it comes to your r values um, also new upgrade 
Um, all the 150 series, all the reflections for that matter, coming in with the Goodyear Endurance tire. So a lot of people were really wanting that brand name tire and a grand design listens to their customers. And so they went out and invested in those Goodyear tires and you still get the same great warranty that you got with the Westlake tire. So you got that five year uh, warranty, 12 months, no questions asked replacement. You got the Dexter uh, shock there. In the middle so that just allows the tire to free flow more within the wheel well helps prevent you know a lot of that vibration going up inside the trailer creating a much smoother ride and again the dexter towing system with the grand design products as well folks so you get that five-year warranty on your axles never adjust brakes easy lube hubs uh, if you don't want to sp spend the money to repack your wheel bearings every couple years you can literally do a full bearing re re uh, wheel bearing repack right in your driveway uh, which makes it really really nice so and again, if you watch a lot of the videos that I shoot, folks, I talk a lot about the construction with Grand Design. Okay, they were the first manufacturer to come out with that three-year structural warranty. Um, you know, they built their products to support the three-year structural warranty. Manufacturers don't want to have to pay uh, warranty claims. So Grand Design, they just built a better product, so they don't necessarily have to, and you're investing in a product that's gonna stand the test of time. Some of the other manufacturers, folks, just be aware, they've come out with a three-year warranty as of late, the last year or so. They raised the price of their trailer. They didn't actually change, in a lot of cases, how they built their products. Okay, Grand Design, when they started their company, they wanted to come to the marketplace with industry-leading product, very well-made, customer service right off the get-go. And uh, they're definitely holding true to that over the six years or so that they've been building trailers. So on this 240RL, folks, you've got a 17-foot uh, Solera power awning. Uh, it does come down the most of the length of the trailer, which is nice. It's a great big, uh, great big awning. You do get that outside refrigerator with 110 plugs, so you can put some beverages and some extra food and that sort of thing. Uh, right in there and it's underneath the awning so what's cool about that is that if it's starting to rain or what have you you can still access your fridge leave your door open and you don't have to worry about water going inside that compartment okay uh, one thing to note on the back here i'll just circle back around here you do have a 3,000 pound hitch it is meant for towing so if you want to pull a boat um, of course length restrictions apply depending on where you're at what province what state you're from check your local laws um, as to what you can do um, and some some provinces and states potentially might not be able to to, uh, to do that let you do that but right in that hitch that's a 3,000 pound hitch so perfect for a little flat deck with some ATVs on it you have the flat four wiring there you can pull a boat behind a little aluminum fishing boat or what have you and because this is under 30 feet in length this particular model it just again that overall towing length this one might have a better chance of getting it done for you depending on what you what you want to pull okay uh, spray port access here so you do get the fresh water here you could actually set up a really cool you know outdoor cook area a little table here connect to your barbecue quick connect have your barbecue going you got the fridge and really set up a whiz bang uh, outdoor cook area uh, while you're outside enjoying the great outdoors so uh, they did do the solid step on this particular floor plan folks uh, that's not the case on all the reflection products but on this particular model where they had to put the entrance door if you know they couldn't do the folding step underneath because of that tires in the way so they did go to that folding step up inside uh, the entrance door there so and the cool thing about having that spray port uh, is that if your steps get dirty while you're camping you can just spray off those steps and then you're folding up a nice clean step up inside there so real nice show you this baggage compartment right here maybe see it a little bit better with that other side wide open they added the little pet uh, pet anchor here for your dog leashes and those sorts of things which is kind of cool but again if you notice the aluminum framing fully bead welded together it's not screwed together or single uh, sided screwed or welded spot welded you'll find with grand design folks if you start measuring the aluminum tubes the thickness the gauge they're typically going a little thicker and adding a few more few more studs there just for structure purposes okay vinyl decking here as opposed to carpet one thing you'll find with a lot of manufacturers folks they use carpet in their cart compartments and you know that stuff it just gets so dirty uh, and it's, if you spill something in there you can get that moldy and mildewy smell inside you know grand design on this deck here if you spill something you just wipe it up uh, you're not going to have to worry about those sorts of things and motion sensor lighting in here as well so at night you open up your baggage door the light automatically turns on which is really really cool so we're gonna hop up on the roof here, folks, and uh, show you a couple of things 
Um, actually, you know what? We're going to do the inside instead because I got the slide out in on this one. And I just want to give you a quick shot as to what it looks like with the slide in when you enter, enter the trailer. And the cool thing about this floor plan, folks, is you can utilize the entire uh, trailer uh, other than the one seating position at the back uh with the slide out fully retracted you know if you're traveling south and you just want to overnight in your trailer but still be able to use the facilities in terms of your kitchen your bathroom your bed load up food groceries uh your personal effects those sorts of things you can definitely do that in this floor plan which is really nice so right at your entryway here you got your convenience center okay right there Easy access, so we've got the uh, slide switch here. We'll just push this slide out. You'll see it's electric Schwintec slide. Grand Design folks, they build square slide boxes because they fully laminate every vertical wall inside their trailer and the roof of their slide is fully laminated and insulated, aluminum framed. Uh, they're building sl uh, square slide boxes, but very rigid, very strong. Uh, they go in and out really nice and easy. Uh, which is good the other thing you'll find with grand design folks because they put the structure in the sidewall they can actually put in massive windows like if you look at that window there on that slide out like you couldn't get a bigger window in that spot there you know a lot of manufacturers two things why they put smaller windows in one they want to save money uh, secondly they just don't have the structure there to support a great big window uh, and grand design definitely does so really cool this is an 80 inch u-shaped dinette so if you want to make that into a bed somebody that's very large can sleep there uh, or a couple people um, lots of space storage underneath which is cool the pantry true to form for grand design they love putting their great big residential size pantries it's all lit with a motion sensor light there you can see that beautiful amounts of storage this floor plan folks has tons and tons and tons of storage theater seating on this floor plan as well uh, fully recline heat and massage you'll look great big window tons of storage up top across the top of your kitchen here but like look at the counter space in here like you could have your your coffee maker to the back here if you're doing dishes you can set up a drying rack right here beside you got a ton of flexibility and a ton of counter space you know a lot of people they want counter space but in a lot of cases you have to go to a walk around island kitchen in order to get it well not everybody has the ability to tow a bigger trailer like that or you know wants to have the opposing slides this layout you get tons of counter space look at the drawers pots and pans drawer like you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven drawers in this whole in this living area which is absolutely fantastic so and again you're noting that noticing that they've gone to the lighter fabric interior this is called pebble uh, they used to use the um, um, cappuccino color and they've gone to a shaker style cabinet door okay um one thing i want to touch on this is a little bit grand designs very wanted to come out to the marketplace that had something that was a little more modern a little more contemporary okay and the way you do that is go to a flat panel cabinet door okay well typically flat panel cabinet doors in the industry are very cheap okay they kind of get a real snappy close and the, the this pet middle panel here is very thin um it's just a cheaper door and that's why manufacturers use it grand design they're known for their cabinetry like they've got very solid doors like when you open and close this it's got a really nice solid feel right so what they did was they went with the flat panel front but it's still raised panel but it's reversed okay when you do a raised panel door uh, insert here it's much thicker it's much stronger and it's just better it's going to stand the test of time and you get uh, thicker edges here it's a mortise and tenon joint it's not just a picture frame uh, so it's just a really nice solid cabinet like they're investing the money into the things that you want to have last right and uh, they're not afraid to do that so um looking right from the back to the forward to the front here folks you've got a 50 inch roku uh television there so that roku tv if you're able to connect to wi-fi you can actually you know watch your netflix so if you're at a campground that's got wi-fi uh, available uh, to be able to connect to you can do it with this trailer maybe pick up a wi-fi ranger suck that wi-fi signal in and connect to netflix and have that ability okay which is really really cool 30 inch uh over the range microwave as well stainless steel is new for this year eight cubic foot refrigerator with wood 
panel re uh, reefer insert, which is real nice, real high end look, uh, which is cool. So they do all the fantastic fans with rain sensor and such right up here in your living area. That's the case on all the reflection products. That's got the rain sensor and the remote is right over here on the wall for it. So, you know, if you're doing a lot of cooking inside and you got some steam or it's just smoking hot inside wherever you're camping, you can turn that sucker on right there and that's going to help get the air out real fast, the, the hot air out real fast. So uh, roof mounted universal solar prep is new for this year as well. We're going to hop up on the roof here shortly uh, and I'm going to show you some really cool things up on top. So, uh, but before we get there again, heading up on, onto the upper deck, no carpet on the steps where you step. Uh, they got the linoleum here up front, pocket doors on most of the products. So if they don't have a walkway access from the bedroom going into the bathroom, they do a pocket door. Okay. People go, Clayton, why a pocket door? Well, in a lot of trailers, they do a swing door, which is much, much, uh, less expensive to, to produce. Okay. The issue with that is it swings this way always opening to the to the stairs well in order to get into your bathroom at night to use the toilet you got to walk down your stairs open the door and then walk in well we've had customers literally fall down the stairs at night trying to get into their bathrooms grand design pocket doors safety it's a protected door uh, it's much easier to get in and out of the bathroom which is really really nice okay uh, three drawers in your bathroom upper vanity above your sink and then you've got the storage here as well. Got the towel rack, porcelain foot flush toilet, easy transition into your shower. Uh, they've gone to the glass sliding doors on the 150 series now, folks. They've gone away from that Nautilus. A lot of people wanted the glass sliding doors, so that's what Grand Design went to. So uh, they, you guys speak and they, uh, they listen and they add and do their things. So again, the bedrooms and bathrooms on the 150 series are all the same, folks. They eliminate the wardrobe slide to help keep that hitch weight down, but they don't eliminate the amount of storage you get. And why I say that is because you get that beautiful wardrobe back there in the corner, like you can hang, that's super deep. You get the three great, three great big drawers there, and you don't lose that residential inspired bedroom with nightstands on either side of your bed. A lot of people are claustrophobic. They don't wanna sleep in a tunnel with cabinets going down either side of the bed. And so you've got that that uh, that nightstand there. They also add the shelf there right above with the USB connection. Right there, you see that little black box there? You got a dual USB connections. You can plug your cell phones in there, set your cell phone up high. You've got 110 plug on each side to be able to hook up a CPAP machine if that's something that you need to have uh, and that sort of thing. So here, I'll just shoot in on this, this storage here. Gigantic. My hand's starting to get a little cold here. It's got to be minus 10 degrees Celsius outside right now. But uh, we're somewhat used to the, the cold up here in Canada. So real nice double styled uh, uh, sliding pocket door, super solid door, which is nice. And uh, again, 240 RL Reflection 150 series. Just arrived to our dealership. You are seeing it as it arrived from the factory folks and that's one of the things we i just had a new salesperson start welcome aboard lance Beaudry, and uh, love to have glad to have you on board here and i was telling lance um out of the seven trailers i checked in today every single one of them if we had a customer coming in looking for a trailer and that was the one we had we could walk you out and sh show you it we're not the last 80 feet of the assembly line uh, like we are with some of the other manufacturers we've carried over the years. Grand Design, 288 point inspection on every single trailer since their inception um, before it leaves the factory. You know, they're doing all the right things at our dealership here at Woody's RV in Leduc. We also do a Grand Design certified PDI as well and then a pre, uh, pre orientation checklist. So every RV we deliver that's Grand Design goes through two and a half inspections, which is absolutely fantastic. Also new. LED lights on the rear, LED marker lights. That's all new as well. So I'm gonna hop up on the roof here and we'll get close to sh uh, capping off this video. Just a sec. Hey guys, Clayton here again from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. I'm on the roof of the 240RL Reflection 150 series. A uh, few things to touch on up here, okay? Grand design, full walk-on roofs on every single trailer they build, okay? Doesn't matter if you're looking at a Transcend for a price point, or all the way up to a momentum. You can walk on their roofs. Why? Grand Design wants you to be able to get up on the roof to be able to service seals, do roof sealant touch-up, change a roof vent if it was to break from a hailstone. Um, 
climb up on the roof to be able to sweep off the tops of your slide outs. Grand design, also their slide boxes, every single trailer they build, folks, full walk-on slide box, okay? And I'm gonna, there's a, a bit of ice here, and I'm just gonna crouch down, sorry. And I'm standing on this slide box, thumping away. Okay, full walk-on slide box. They want you to be able to sweep off the roof of your slide out, do the maintenance you need to on your trailer, all of those things. A lot of times, folks, when you don't see a ladder on the back of a trailer, that can indicate that you don't have a walk-on roof. To service your roof is a lot more difficult. Okay, right up here on the top corner, um, that's your uh, universal pre-wire for your uh, solar. So. In, uh, and there's wiring that attaches to that at plug plug and play so you can mount your solar panel to your roof plug and play right into that adapter and there's wiring on the inside of that that goes right down into your underbelly where your um, where your batteries are to make the install so much nicer and this particular floor plan folks I mean you could very easily hook up four or five solar panels or more uh, depending on how far you want to go um, which is cool right uh, the other thing, attic vents. That thing right there is an attic vent. Uh, and what that does is it allows your roof to breathe. Uh, you know, if you're cooking inside propane, propane has moisture in it, the heat, that sort of thing. You want to help get that, you let your air, your, your roof breathe, let that heat escape. It's no different than your house. They're vented to allow that heat to escape. You know, if you've got a laminated roof or you got the roof with the um, aluminum trusses in it, all of those things, folks, they just don't breathe nearly as well. And so Grand Design, attic vents on all of their products, uh, which is real nice. So uh, Coleman mock air conditioners on all their products as well. So again, that's the roof. The membrane they use is a, uh, a TPO Alpha Flex, I believe, if I remember the name. Again, bit rusty first video for 2020 here, but um, that, that TPO membrane comes with a 12-year warranty. They may have boosted it to 15, but I think it's 12. Uh, your warranty and uh, no seams um, if you help happen to tear it open you know you can vulcanize it back together seal it back up makes it real nice the other thing to note on grand design folks look how much uh, sealant they use that die core that self-leveling sealant they layer it on thick okay they don't want you to have moisture intrusion issues on your brand new trailer so grand designs going the extra step with that so um, i'm going to hop down here off the roof this is it all right, friends, that caps off our video. Uh, thanks for hanging in there. Hopefully it's not too, too long. Hopefully you learned something about it. I know I missed a ton of stuff uh, on this trailer and I could talk for well over an hour on Grand Design trailers and how they're built and those sorts of things. Uh, give us a shot, Woody's RV World Leduc. Check out our Google reviews. Um, hear stories about you know customers that have done business with us and uh, you know don't take it from us, take it from them and you might get to know us a little bit better. And uh, yeah, check us out on our website. Uh, this one's posted right on there. And i uh, love to have you come down to our dealership. So thanks for your time. Take care. Happy camping.